sorry, Professor. Uh, he's asking about the Asuba meditation. So uh, he said there's uh, one, one person using the Asuba uh, meditation practice. After uh, he practiced like well, what Professor Dr. Mon has explained in the, in the previous one, uh, he can develop all, all that uh, is being taught. But uh, after that, he, he became very sad and upset uh, until he commits suicide because he, he found uh, the repulsiveness of the body. He cannot uh, accept it. So the question is uh, how should we practice but uh, also uh, not commit suicide. Also we can uh, come to accept the repulsiveness of the body without rejecting it. So no, we need the guidance of the teacher. No, so that you, have, you should know no, the objective of this meditation. So, no, but by reflecting on the repulsiveness of the body, we say we can no, subdue the lust, the lust of craving or attachment no, to the body. So, no, our objective is, is only this, only this. So, when you see the repulsive nature, then you can cut away this, this craving. No? So committing suicide, no? so that means he has the wrong, the wrong reflection, the wrong thought. No? So just like you know, during the times of the Buddha, so you know, all the monks, they have to meditate on the Asupa Bhavana. So nobody committed suicide. And now in the Pau Meditation Center, no, we, you know, the, this meditation is taught, the Asupa Bhavana. And the way we, we teach Asupa Bhavana in the, the Pau Meditation Center is only after you can develop the food jhana in Anapanasti. Then no, we, we continue teaching this all the ten casinas to develop all the eight jhanas. And then we also teach the, the four guardian meditation. So in that, no, you have to do the weep, the gradation, loving kindness, and then no, the araham araham, that is Buddha nosti, and asupa bhavana, and then marana nosti, up to the jhana, up to the jhana state. So even in panadi body, the meditation on asupa, that is on the corpse, repulse it. You can develop the jhana. You can develop the jhana. No? So when you can develop the jhana, that means though you see the repulsive nature, you are very happy. No? With the jhana, you are very happy. No? Because no? when you get that, we say you attain the perception of founders that can subdue no? this craving or attachment to the body of you and others. Then you live like an arahat. No? So your mind is very calm, serene, and you can meditate very well. No? You can meditate very well. So like in Bhav Center, after you attain the fourth jhana, you can uh, the, do this asubhava meditation very quickly. Because when you get, no, when we say the fourth jhana, actually it is equivalent to the fifth jhana. No, the fifth rupa jhana. So now we describe the five rupa jhana today. So in the no, in practice, after we attain the first jhana, we can eliminate vitekka vichara simultaneously. Instead of eliminating it one by one, if you eliminate one by one, you get five rupa jhana. If you eliminate vitekka vichara simultaneously. Your second jhana has only three jhana factors that are equivalent to the, the third jhana here. So then you develop PT, you get the third jhana, and you, uh, you uh, eliminate sukha, and you get upikha ikagda as the fourth jhana. And that is the, the way no? uh, it is done in meditation. And the Buddha himself used this fourth jhana for his vipassana meditation. So, no, that's why we say this fourth Rupavaya Jhana is the best foundation for undertaking Vipassana meditation. No, unless you attain the, the, you know, the Jhana or the right concentration, we say your mind is not pure. 
if your mind is not pure, no penetrative light will be radiated. Then you cannot see. Even internal, in the, into the body, you cannot see. And then you cannot see those ultimate consciousness and mental factors. You cannot see. If you cannot see them, you cannot do vipassana. No? So those people, when they say, oh, you don't need samatha, you can do vipassana directly. Actually, they are not doing vipassana. No? And they are, sometimes, some of them, they even don't do even the, not the samatha meditation. So they are lost, actually. No? So they are lost. You may meditate in that way for 20 years. No progress. Just that. Going on like that. No? So we say, no? like uh, when in Asupa Bhavana, why do can, you can develop the first jhana? No, the first jhana is very blissful and peaceful, I said. Because you know, we know it is very, very beneficial. No, very beneficial. So we say just like you know, the, the person you know, who clean the toilet and who you know, they throw away like the, the cabbage. So when there is you know, a great heap of cabbage, so when they saw the great heap of uh, cabbage, like in the, in the pagoda, they have many, you know, the, the rotten flowers, you not know, throw them away. So when the, you know, the, the ask, ask him to throw away this cabbage, he was very happy and joyful. Why? Because he said, I'm going to get a lot of money today. No, so if you get a lot of money, so you know, to throw away the, the, this, you know, the filthy things, they are happy. So the same thing, you know, even doing this, the, the Asupa Bhavana, no, you, you are very happy because no, the value, the benefit is very great you get it. So actually when we follow the no, teaching of the, the Buddha correctly, there cannot be no such thing as no, the committed suicide or something like that. So don't be afraid of that. No? Any more questions? Just now the question is uh, about the consciousness uh, when we are ab about to pass away. So it's uh, the dying, con the deaf consciousness is very really important, he said, uh, because we, we don't have uh, any power to uh, avoid that. So uh, he himself have already seen two deaf, uh, which is very really sad. Uh, just like what Dr. Mon has said about the car accident. Uh, so the question is, uh, how about if uh, we have uh, diseases like the cancer or migraine, which is uh, very painful, so what will happen during our uh, death? I was, uh, I used to think, how to face death briefly? <laughs> how to face death briefly? So they say those who have not no, they reflected on the nature of death, who have not practiced this marana nusti. So when it comes to the near the time of no, when they come to the time of near death, no, they were very frightened. So as if they were seized no, by, by the by the, the killer, or they were grabbed no, by by the ghost or by the tiger. So they are very scared. So if you reflect on this marana nosti, no, to, to be successful, then you are not afraid of death anymore. You are not afraid of death anymore. No? So that is one way. So even if you have no, the, the cancer or any diseases that you know is going to kill you sooner or later, so at that time we, it will be very nice to reflect on this nature of death. <laughs> because I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. No, so if you no, you can develop no, even no, the no, like the perception of death. We say when you get the perception of death, then no, you you are not afraid anymore. You are not afraid anymore. No, so and then like during the time of the Buddha, no, the the, the monks usually they took the meditation subject, they learn meditation subject from the Buddha. And then they went into the forest to meditate in the forest. No? And then 
one big tiger <coughs> came out to <coughs> carry one man, no, almost one at a night. So the man, no, they meditated separately. So they don't meditate together. So no, one man under one tree, another man another tree. So when the one man was carried you know, by the by the tiger, he didn't make any shout, any you know, any shout or any noise. So he just you know, let him die because he doesn't want to disturb the other monks meditating. So you know, when it comes to the full moon day, they have the gathering, you no, know, to gathering. So the chief monk said, "Why our number is you no?" Know, is de has decreased. So only then, no, some monk told to him, Oh, a tiger came and carried one monk almost every night. Well, in that case, no, we, we, we better take some, no, some uh, sticks or bamboos no, together to uh, keep with us. So if a tiger carry you, make, them, make the sound, make the noise, so that no, we can chase the, the, the tiger away. So that night they meditate. So again the tiger came. No, the tiger came and he did carry one, one man again. So the monk said, I am being carried away by the, by the tiger. No, I am being carried away by the tiger. So the other monks, no, they, they came up together with the sticks and the bamboo, try no, to, to frighten the, the, the tiger. They chased the tiger actually. So the tiger carried this man and then it jumped through a deep canyon to the other side. So the man cannot, cannot cross this canyon. So they just encourage him. Now, no, the, the Bhante, no, the monk, Bhante, please no, the, no, the, to concentrate on your meditation. Try to concentrate on your meditation. No, so that is the only way you have to do. So, no, so the monk, he listened to that. So, no, when you can already develop the jhana, and then, no, you, uh, you are reflecting on this, no, the vipassana, no, seeing your no, mentality mentality arising and dissolving, and then you are reflecting on no, the impermanence, impermanence, anicca, anicca, dukkha, dukkha, suffering, suffering. So he meditated. So if you can develop the jhana, and then you concentrate on your meditation, you, you, you don't know the, the, the tiger is eating you. Even then you don't know, because your mind is concentrated on this meditation subject. So the tiger, he started eating you know, from the legs, from the toe, from the legs. So when you know, the tiger has eaten this man you know, up, to the, up, up to the thigh, he got developed the first you know, enlightenment and he became his dream winner. And he kept on meditating. So when the, the tiger you know, ate in his stomach, so he attained the second attainment. And then he kept on meditating. So when it comes to about, you know, the, the, uh, about, uh, about the navel, so about here, you know, near, near the, ch the chest, he attained the third enlightenment. He became non-returner. So when the tiger eats his heart, so just before he died, he attained the fourth enlightenment, became arahat. So if you are you know, with, with the cancer, so you, you, need not be, you need not be afraid. The best way is to undertake meditation. Now, even when you die, you, you, you need not be afraid anymore. You will be born in the best forever. So try to meditate to become a noble person, then you will not be afraid of death anymore. No, you can die very bravely. No. So 9.30, time is up for tonight. So we already accumulated a great amount of merit again to die. So we share merit. No? We share merit. We pay homage to the Triple Gem first. Imaya Dhamma Nu Dhamma Bhati Bhati Buddham Bujemi Imaya Dhamma Nu 
Dhamma Bhati Bhatiya Dhamma Bhujimi Imaya Dhamma Nu Dhamma Bhati Bhatiya Samgam Bhujimi With our holy practice which is in accord with the nine supramundane dhammas. We pay obeisance to the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha. Idam me punyam aswekhaya vaham hatu. May these merits of mine lead me to the extinction of all defilements. Idam me punyam nibbanasa achayo hatu. May these merits of mine be conducive to my attainment of Nibbana. Imam no punya bhagam sabasatta nam dema. Imam no punya bhagam sabasatta nam dema. Imam no punya bhagam sabasatta nam dema. We share our merits with all sentient beings. May all sentient beings obtain the share of our merits and be well and happy always. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. May all you be happy and well and may you attain enlightenment very soon. Let's say prayers. Namo dasa bhagavato arahato samasambhutasa Namo dasa bhagavato arahato samasambhutasa Namo dasa bhagavato arahato samasambhutasa Buddham sarenam gacchami Dhammam sarenam gacchami Sangham sarenam gacchami Dudayam be putam sarinam gachami. Dudayam be damman sarinam gachami. Dudayam be sankam sarinam gachami. Dadayam be putam sarinam gachami. Tadayam bi jamam sarinam gachami Tadayam bi sangham sarinam gachami Panati bada veramani sikha vadam samadhyami Adinadana Veramani sikhavadam samadhyami Kamesu mecha chara Veramani sikhavadam samadhyami Musavada Veramani sikhavadam samadhyami Sura miraya Madhya amma tachana Veramani sikhavadam samadhyami Amma bandhi we go to page 54, 54. So at the bottom we have 
the topic supra mundane consciousness no lokutara chaitas we look at the book lokutara chaitas may be acquired by vipassana inside meditation there are two ways of getting to the path consciousness or the path wisdom mega jnana so the uh, vipassana yanika taking insight meditation as the vehicle number two is samatha yanika taking tranquility meditation as the vehicle so yanika means vehicle so not to go to jagadhi say not to go to london you can take the aeroplane or you can take the ship so if you want to get there quickly you have to take the ship <laughs> or the, the aeroplane so some of the yan some we pass na yanika no method means you develop concentration only to neighborhood concentration we call that upachara samadhi no so some people they can get to that stage remember in kasina meditation or in anapanasati meditation you can get up to the counter sign now when you get the counter sign the very bright no the the image and at that time also i tell you because the mind is pure the mind must be pure to go into vipassana otherwise you cannot go into vipassana no so at least you must develop the neighborhood concentration only then your mind is pure so when the mind is pure it radiates very bright and penetrative light so no with that you can see the light comes out very bright and you can see everything in front of you with close eyes then you can look into your body so penetratively you can see the internal organs every part of the organs you can see but you know, <clears throat> seeing this the the the, in, and the 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 two parts of the body still it means samatha you no know, it still means the samatha so you no know, in the in the case of <clears throat> the pau meditation center at first pau chero he taught this vipassana yanika way so you no know, we they meditate up to the neighborhood concentration so when you attain the neighborhood concentration what you should do is to see this study two parts first no that is two parts of the body in you and also in others everybody whoever you look at you can see only the assemblage not the group of the study two parts of the body they are moving so no human beings anymore only assemblages of the two parts then no you can choose one no one part of the body so we choose the skeleton no our skeleton or other people's skeleton whichever is more distinct you take it then try to see the disgusting nature of that skeleton and then you meditate no the asupa asupa or disgusting disgusting and by that you can go up to the first jhana so from neighbor concentration now no we go first jhana and after you attain the first jhana you look at the skull of a person sitting in front of you no in meditation some people you sit some behind some someone <laughs> so you can see his skeleton so you just focus on the skull and you take notice of only the whiteness of the skull and we make it the white casino and we meditate on it you can develop up to the no the in the five method jhana method you can go up to the fifth jhana or in the four jhana method we go up to the fourth jhana so no when you come to that then the light that comes out from the no from your mind is very very bright very penetrative brighter than the light that comes out from the fifth rupa vajra jhana that you are taking in anapanasti 
So it is the best, no? this light, to, to, to go to Vipassana. Now those who cannot go, say, up to here, but actually in Pau, if you attain the neighborhood concentration, it's not difficult to go up to here. The only difficult thing is to, to get that neighborhood concentration. Now Upajara Samadhi, it's very difficult to get it. If you get that, you are at the entrance of the jhana. Then you can just go up. No, not very difficult and not, it doesn't take much long. So if you got to the fourth jhana, no, in the fourth jhana method, so your mind becomes very, very stable, very, very powerful. So you are using very the, powerful weapon to go to Vipassana. So when you go to Vipassana, it is the same route you have to, to, to walk. No, just like to, to, to go from here to London. So you have to go this direction, you have to go there. So the only difference is you are going on the sky with the plane or on the sea, or on the road. No, so it should be the same road. So in Vipassana, the same thing. Developing the fourth or the fifth Rupa Vajrajana up to the stage is Samatha. No, it's Samatha. They should be done first. No, we, we have three, four training, remember? No, the middle part that goes to Nibbana, no, also known as Eightfold Noble Path, consists of three, four training, training of morality, sila, training of concentration, samadhi. So this too has to be done first. No, so the, 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 the good thing is, no, in, light, in, the, in meditation center, you develop, you observe eight moral precepts. Then you undertake meditation. That is samatha meditation. So, why you are doing that? You are maintaining pure morality already. So now this is the samatha. Now must go up to the right concentration. So in the eight factors you can see, you know, the, the, the right concentration is the eight factor. You know, with, uh, when you get the right concentration, then you also have the right effort, the right mindfulness and the right concentration. These three, you know, we call it training of concentration. So when you attain the right concentration, you get the right effort, the right mindfulness, all are the right. So these are the power, you not know, very strong power. You know, then, after you attain this, then you finish this too. But you have to take this as the base to go to Vipassana. So when you are going to Vipass now, so morality is pure, and uh, your mind is pure, and then now you are taking Vipassana. So you know, there is always a question, how do we go to Vipassana from Samatha? So when you attain the right concentration and you want to go to Vipassana, you have to do you know, two types of meditation. We say meditation on materiality, not to to characterize, to find out all the 28 types of ultimate materiality that make up the body. And then you have to take the mentality, no? the meditation on melody. <coughs> In this case, no, you have to find, <coughs> to, to see, no? or, or in other words, you have to analyze your mind. Not to know consciousness and all mental factors that arise in you. So only then you, you know all the ultimate materiality, ultimate mentality in you. No, then you can see them arising, dissolving very rapidly. And then no, you can, you know the impermanence, a nature, suffering, dukkha, and non-self, anatta. So you reflect on this. Anicca, 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 dukkha, 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 anatta, anatta, anatta. That is vipassana. So only when you go up to that stage, we call it vipassana. So now up there, this, <clears throat> the Buddha, so he said, on this road, there are seven stages of purifying the mind. The first stage, you must purify morality. No, there's, we call it sila visuti, purity of morality. Then you must purify your mind. No, that is we call chitta visuti. No, visuti means pure. Chitta is the consciousness of the mind, so purity of the mind. 
Then after that, the third stage is the purity of view. Tei Tei Visu Tei. No, the view. The view here is to, you have to you get the right view. So to get this view, no, you have to analyze your body no, into ultimate materialities and the mind into ultimate mentalities. And then you know that the body is made up of only this materiality and mentality. They are rising and dissolving very rapidly. So as soon as they rise, they dissolve. Everything dissolves. So, nothing permanent exists. No, the permanent thing, just like other religions, you say that the soul, the ego, they say, that is always permanent, will never perish. No such thing. No, so when there is no ego, no, no, no soul, then you are definite, there is no person. No, no person, because at that state, <clears throat> this body disappears. You don't see this body, this uh, body anymore. Only those are doing materiality, man, mat, mentality, no form, no shape. And they themselves are rising, dissolving so rapidly. So, nothing permanent. So, nothing permanent, that means nothing permanent exists. That means no person exists, no I exists. So, if you, you know that very clearly, we say you attain what they teach, we should teach the purity of view. So the purity of view is the, uh, the view that can get it out. Personality belief. Personality belief, taking this body and mind as I, I, as person, person. Now we are attached to this notion, I, I, I. The Buddha said, I do not, I do not exist. Well, whatever you say, we, we take I exist. <laughs> So now, <clears throat> as you can see very clearly, no I exists, we call Deity Visuti. <clears throat> and after that, what you have to go is the foot. The state of purification is Tenka Vitarana Visuti. Tenka is the same as Viki Kecha, something called Tao. No? About the Tao, about the Buddha, the Dhamma, the Sangha, the Tao about the past existences whether we have the past existences. The doubt about the future existences, whether do we have, the, not the, we shall be born again in the future. And from what past existence we come to the present existence. And from this existence, to what existence shall we go again? So these are called, not canker, the doubt. Not the doubt. <clears throat> so, not to clarify this doubt, we have you know, to take the Vipassana meditation so to discern the causal relations of Pateja Samubhada. No? Pateja Samubhada is the discourse on dependent origination. No? In this discourse about dependent origination, it describes you know, clearly about light after light of all persons. So that means you can see your past lives. So in Pau's meditation center, no, so no, they teach this meditation, so you can see your past lives. How many past lives do you want to see? No? So it's very, very important. If you don't know your past life, you still have doubt. Oh, no? Did I really exist in the past? <laughs> You, you have the doubt. What are the existence that I exist in the past? So now you can see that. You can see that. So very good, very interesting meditation. You can see your past life. No? So usually, no, meditators, after seeing two, three lives, they don't want to see <clears throat> more lives, more past lives anymore. No? They, if you can see your three past lives, not just like a very good movie you have seen three times, you don't want to see that movie again. The same thing, you don't want to go further. But you are definite that, oh, no, there are uncountable past lives. You know that. Then you have to see your future life. So you can also see, when you die, what shall, <laughs> what shall I be? <laughs> you can see. So, now in the taste of future lives in Pau Meditation Center, now the teacher asks you to see as many future lives 
you can see. And usually they can see only one or two future lives. So that may not, uh, no one or two future lives, they may have, no, they may not have any existence anymore. So that means they can become a heart after that. No, so if you have this, you know this causal relations of dependent origination, you see clearly. So remember, seeing is believing. No, and what we see it now is, no, what we see with the naked eye is seeing is deceiving. No, deceiving within I exist, you exist, is deceiving. Now only when you see penetratively with the wisdom, with the wisdom eye, then seeing is believing. No, so you can get rid of all the doubt. And you can get rid of all the, the wrong views, many wrong views. No, some people say that there is no cost no, for the arising of this, no, this, this light. So that is the wrong view. Ah, he took a deity. And then some people say, we are created by almighty gods. So when you can see the cause of relation here, no God. No, no God who, no, who create. As there are no persons, we don't need any God to create the person. No, as there is no soul, then you can definitely know there is no creator. No, no such thing as no, no creator and God or this thing. These are the wrong view. So we call it Wisma Hetuka Deity. You can get rid of it. And some people say, no, so this, this are the, the soul. So just like the Hindu, they say, when you die, the soul does not die. Christianity, no, the, the soul they also believe in that. When a person dies, the soul has to wait no, in the tomb for the judgment day. Remember, they remember this. No, and then this soul enters a new body, they call it reincarnation, so you are born again like the Hindu. They also believe light in afterlife. But they think the soul, not the soul, goes in light to afterlife. And we call this Sasta Deity. No, the Sasta Deity means the wrong view of eternalism. The soul is eternal. No such thing. So these are the wrong view you have to get rid of. And some people say, like scientists, they don't know the future existence. So they say we have only one existence of the dead. No? So finish. No more existence anymore. So we call it Ochida Deity. Ochida Deity. Nihilism. <laughs> it's called Nihilism. So you can get rid of all these wrong views. So that is the first stage. Only after that we take vipassana. Only after that we take vipassana. The Buddha did the same thing. Not the same thing when he was a bodhisattva, he was meditating under the body tree. So he go through these three, four stages. No, so for in the case of the Buddha, he can develop supernormal power. No, so by the supernormal power of the knowledge of past existence. He can see all his past existence. He can see not only as you know, the person in this past existence, he can also see in terms of ultimate mentality, materiality. So he can see up to that already. Now in the middle watch of the night, he develops divine eye that he can see all 31 planes of existence. Then when he saw these 31 planes of existence, no, he said, now those celestial beings, they are enjoying great luxury. What is the cause? So when he, no, he inclined his mind to know the causes, automatically he got the supernormal power of knowing the, the past causes, that is the karma, that give rise to, to different existences. And he also looked at the, those woeful persons, why they have to suffer so much. He could see their past, bad, you know, the action and the bad karma producing that. So he already know up to this. No, light of the light already know. He also know karma and result no, producing this. And only in the third watch of the night, he contemplates on the causal relations you know, that produce light of the light, then he discovered dependent origination. So only after that he reflects on the vipassana, 
Now in the case of the Buddha, he could see the ultimate mentality material in himself and in all the living beings in 10,000 world cycle. Not only no, just I and a few of you, but you know, all the living beings in 31 planes in all the worlds up to 10,000 world cycles. And he could see them rising and dissolving rapidly. So Anicca, Anicca, Dukkha, Dukkha, Anatta, you reflect on them. By that you can develop 10 insight knowledges, then you will get the path wisdom. So in the case of the Buddha also, the four path wisdom, they arise one after another. No, one after another, no, instantly. So it didn't, he didn't take much for Vipassana. No, only about, about one hour maybe. <laughs> because only at the no, last watch of the night he, he do Vipassana. Then he become enlightened as an arahat. So when you get the full part wisdom, no, so this part wisdom totally eliminates all the defilements that low part dosa moha. Totally. So these low part dosa moha are no, the, uh, no, the blocking, no, blocking, obstructing, no, the, the, the fruits of no, the good merits that the Buddha had had performed no, for many, many existences. Remember after he got the prophecy to become a Buddha, he still had to you know, fulfill the perfections. You now we call the ten paramis. For four asankhya, as, uh, four asankhya means four incalculable aeons, we say, and one hundred thousand war cycle. So in all this existence, you know, he is practicing to get Sabbenyuta Jnana. Omniscience wisdom that knows everything. So as soon as he got that food, you know, the part wisdom, and you know, the, this part wisdom destroy all defilement, then you know, as soon as you get the fusion wisdom, you know, Arata Pala, so the last one here, he became Arahat actually. So at that time, you know, instantly, he also got this you know, omniscient wisdom. Sabinyutanyana, that knows everything. So he became a Buddha. No, so for in our case, the same thing. No, we have to go, no, after that we go in the Vipassana. So not reflecting in many ways in our us. No, not only in us, you have to, the, to see the mentality, material arising in many persons as much as you can see. No, then, then if the, when you get the jhana concentration, you can see far away, you can even see celestial beings. You can see woeful beings. And you can also see mentality, mentality in them arising and dissolving. So you can generalize. Oh, in all the one planes of existence, not where there are living beings, only mentality, mentality exists. And these mentality, mentality are not really only a nature, impermanent, dukkha, suffering. Non-self, no, no self, no person. So when the suffering becomes very distinct in all existence, you don't want to be born in that existence anymore. Only then you realize Nibbana. So, <laughs> you get Nibbana. Okay. So the same way, no, whether you, you take Vipassana Yanika or Samatha Yanika, you have to go the same way. You have to see all this. So which is better? Vipassana Yanika or Samatha Yanika? Which is better? Can you not judge what I have said? No? <coughs> so the Vipassana Yanika, you have very low concentration. Upachara Samadhi. And Upachara Samadhi is compared to a child who start walking. So this is a young child, you know, baby. When he walks, he will fall down very often. So you have to, you know, he have to get up. So the same thing, if you use the Upajara Samadhi, you know, your mental power is, is low. The light is, is weak, and then it is not stable. While you meditate, it will fall. You have to develop it again and again. So very slow, no, very slow, and you cannot see clearly. 
No? So in the Pope Medical Center, first Buddha, the, the, our teacher, no? Pope Shiaro, taught Vipassana Yanika. Then he found that meditators have very great difficulty, like to see the past existences, the future existences. You need very men strong power, mental power, very bright light. Only then you can see the past existences. Then he changed into Samatha Yanika. Samatha Yanika is very, very good. No? So when you get the jhana samadhi, very strong, you can meditate for, say, the whole day, it will not fall down. No? So it is compared like a, a, a grown-up person walking the whole day without falling down. So samatha yanika is much better. Well, we shall learn about meditation in more detail in chapter 9, which is the chapter on meditation. And after seven days here, we are going to teach Visuddhi Megha and ITBC for another seven days. And there you will learn in more detail. Nowadays, no, after 2,600 years, the Buddha passed away. No, the meditation, the Samatha Vipassana meditation, no, almost disappeared. There are no, no, almost no teachers who can teach all this meditation. And now we are very fortunate that Pao Xiaro appears. Now I meditated under several teachers and I know they are teaching only the teacher's method. Now when you know the Sabhidama and Visuddhi Megha, then you know oh, they are teaching only the teacher's method, not the Buddha's method. Now Bhav Shara can teach in detail, so we are very glad no? to have the chance to meditate as taught by the Buddha. And if you meditate no, correctly, you can attain the path wisdom even at the present time. Now you can become a noble person if you meditate. Let's go to page 55 at the bottom. We have supramundane moral consciousness. No? Supramundane is Lokutra and moral consciousness, Kusala Chaita. Basically, there are four Lokutra, Kusala Chaitas, as acquired in Vipassana Yanika root. So they are described on page 56. We can read together. Sota Pati Mekka Chaitam. Saka Gagami Mekka Chaitam. Anagami Mekka Chaitam. Arahaka Mekka Chaitam. Again, read the meaning. Sota Pati Pat Consciousness. Consciousness belonging to the path of stream entry. Sgadagami but consciousness. Consciousness belonging to the path of one's returning. Anagami but consciousness. Consciousness belonging to the path of never returning. Aharatha but consciousness. Consciousness belonging to the path of arahatship. Okay. In this chart, no, we described the eight Lokutra chaitas. No, here, consisting of four Lokutra Kusala chaita. So these are the four Mecca chaitas. They are given no, the sign, both positive and negative. So that means no, when you are undertaking Vipassana with joy, then when you get the path consciousness, the path consciousness will be accompanied by pleasant mental feeling. And why you are doing vipassana with, without joy? Then when you attain the path consciousness, it will be upikha sahakatam. So it can be anyone. No? So these are four path consciousness. In samatha yanika way, no, we develop the jhana first, and then we undertake vipassana. So now if you take the first jhana, no? As not the foundation of vipassana, you are so the body mega chaita will associate with the first jhana. So another person, if he use a second jhana for vipassana, his so the body mega chaita will associate with second jhana. The same thing, so the body mega no chaita can associate with the third jhana, fourth jhana, fifth jhana. So there are five so the body mega chaita 
associating with the five rupa vajra jhana. So in the same way, no, we have five skadagami, mega chaita, five anagami, mega chaita, five aratha, mega chaita. Altogether, we have twenty. No, the jhana mega chaita. On page fifty-six, in the middle, no, the topic. We describe five jhana sotapati mega chaitas. So this is the samatha yanika way. So the sotapati mega associate with the five jhana. So the names are the same, just like the names of the five rupa vajra jhana. So we can read below together. So we mention the five jhana factors, well, the jhana factors first. We take we jara. Piti sukha ikagata sa hitam patamaj jana sota pati mega jaitam. Then we eliminate vitaka for the second jana. Vichara piti sukha ikagata sa hitam dutiaj jana. And number three, piti sukha ikagata sa hitam. Tatiyaj jana sota pati mega chaitam number four. Sukha ikagata sahitam chatutaj jana sota pati mega chaitam. Upika ukekata sahitam panchamaj jana sota pati mega chaitam. The meaning, the first jana sota pati part consciousness together with initial obligation, sustained obligation, joy, bliss, and one-pointedness. So the remaining you can know. Okay. Then we go to page 57. In the middle, supramandane resultant consciousness. Logudra vipaka chaita. Now instead of kusla chaita, now we get vipaka chaita resultant consciousness. And again in meditation, as soon as you get sota pati mega chaita, no, that chaita no, arises only for a conscious moment, and as soon as it dissolves, it's resultant, no, it's effect. Sota pati pala chaita arises. So no, that's why the Buddha said, no, the property of the Dharma, it bears result without any lapse in time. Without any less than time, immediately it bears result. So we call it akaliko. Remember the six, no, the attitude of the Buddha. There is akaliko. No. Now we can read the four soda body pla chaita. Okay, soda body pla chaita, skadagami pla chaita, anagami pla chaita, arata pla chaita. The meanings. So the body, fruit consciousness, consciousness belonging to the fruition of stream entry. Skadagami, fruit consciousness, consciousness belonging to the fruition of one's returning. Anagami, fruit consciousness, consciousness belonging to the fruition of never returning. Aratha, fruit consciousness, consciousness belonging to the fruition a hardship. In the Samatha Yanika way, no, each the fruition consciousness can associate with no, the five Rupa Vajra Jhana, no, one at a time. So there are five Sotapati Plachita, five Skadagami Plachita, five Nagami Plachita, and five Aratha Plachita. Now we can name the say the name as before, and we will describe the naming of these five arata pala chaita. So that is on page fifty-eight. No five jhana arata pala chaita. Okay, let's read again. Vitaka vichara viti sukha ikagada sahidam patamaj jhana arata pala chaitam. Vichara piti sukha ikadakata sahitam dutiyaj jana aratha pala chaitam. Piti sukha ikadakata sahitam tatiyaj jana aratha pala chaitam. 
Sukha ika kakata sahidam Satukha jana aratha pala chaitam Upika ika kakata sahidam Panchama jana aratha pala chaitam The meaning The first jana aratha fruit consciousness Together with initial obligation, sustained obligation Joy, bliss and one-pointedness You can understand the rest now we go to quick review over the consciousnesses. So for this uh, quick review, <clears throat> now this chart is very helpful. So now first we can continue now from the from here. How many in moral consciousness? Twelve. What are they? The eight Lopa Mula Chaita. Two dosa mula chaita, two moha mula chaita. Then what are the eight lopa mula chaita? Then you have to, you, know, you have to read the name. You should be able to read. So, so manasa saha katam, teki kata sambiyutam, a sankari kam ekam, sa sankari kam ekam. So manasa saha katam, deiti kata vipayutam, a sankhari kam ekam, sa sankhari kam ekam. When you go to the next four, we just change so manasa into upika. Upika saha katam, deiti kata samyutam, a sankhari kam ekam, sa sankhari kam ekam. Upika saha katam, Deti kata vipyutam, a sankhari kam ekam, sa sankhari kam ekam. What are the two dosa mula chita? To mana sa saha katam, patika sambayutam, a sankhari kam ekam, sa sankhari kam ekam. The two moha mula chita, upika saha katam, viti kecha sambayutam, Upika Sagadam Uddhacha Sambhyutam So in the two Mohamula Chita we don't differentiate them as a Sankharika, a Sankharika because they are equally inactive. We cannot say one is more active than the other. Now in revision you should practice writing the names, not the names in Pali words. So, though you can recite, when you write, you will see you get difficulty. So, if no, you have to practice writing, then you know very well and then you can appear for the examination. Now, we can continue in the same way. So, the next group we call rootless consciousness, Ahituka Chaiti. No, cheaters, 18 of them consisting of Seven, akusala vipaka chaita, in moral resultant consciousness. Eight, ahituka kusala vipaka chaita, rootless moral resultant consciousness. And three, ahituka tiriya chaita, rootless functional consciousness. Now, what are the eight? Ahituka kusala vipaka chaitas. So they are upika sahagadam jakku vinyanam. Upika sahagadam sota vinyanam. Upika sahagadam kana vinyanam. Upika sahagadam jiva vinyanam. Dukha sahagadam kaya vinyanam. Upika sahagadam sampatechana chaitam. Upika Sagadam Santirana Chaitam. And the eight Ahituka Kusala Vipaka Chaitas are the same. We just change this Dukha Sagadam into Sukha Sagadam. And we add one more Somanasa Santirana Chaitam. And three no, Ahituka Kriya Chaitas are Upika Sagadam. Panja Dwara Vajana Chaitam 
ഉപിഖസാഗതം മനോദ്വാരവചന ചൈതം സോമനസാഗതം ഹാസിത്തു പാദ ചൈതം നൗ വി ഗോ ടു ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് അഗൈൻ സോ ദ അതോനി ഫോ കാമ സോബന ചൈത സെൻസ് ബിയ ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ കോൺഷ്യസ്നെസ് ദേ കൺസിസ്റ്റ്സ് ഓഫ് എയ്റ്റ് മഹാവിപാക ചൈത no maha means great oh eight maha kusala chaita great moral consciousness eight maha vipaga chaita great resultant consciousness eight maha vikriya chaita great functional consciousness now the name of the eight maha kusala chaita is the same as eight lopa mula chaita we just change dechi in dunyana now we can read സോമനസഹകൃത സംഹാരിക്കംസംഹാരിക്കംസംഹാരിക്കംസംഹാരിക്കംസംഹാരിക്കംസംഹാരിക്കംസംഹാരിക്കംസംഹാരിക്കംസംഹാരിക്കംസ